Hello and welcome to Jewellery Rescue. I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today I have a lovely thrift haul for you including my best find of the year so far from a car boot seller or a charity shop. So let's dive straight in. This was a piece that I found at last weekend's boot sale. So the last two weeks my local boot sale has been rained off and I did find one which is in a um, multi-story car park so it's all undercover but it's so dark down there it's really hard to see what you've got till you get home so I have got a few fails unfortunately but I will show you everything this crazy multi-strand chain necklace was 50p and they're just plastic stones faux stones in there um, I actually bought it to cut it up but I'm not sure that I can bring myself to now that I've seen it sort of in its fullest it's quite 80s madonna it's a little bit tangled up i've tried to untangle it but it's tangled itself again in the time that i've done that but that's an interesting piece definitely well worth 50p even if i only just use the chains then i only got one other thing this weekend which was this amazing wooden bangle it's got a little bit of brass inlaid there that was 50p I know it's the wrong time of year for big wooden bangles, but I just couldn't leave it there for 50p. I'm sure you can um, probably relate to that. The week before, I had a really good haul, so I'll show you those things. And I've also got some charity shop bits. Let's start with those. Um, one of my local charity shops has just a little drawer of broken bits, and I found this lovely amber pendant, so that's going to go back onto a chain and i picked up these lovely lamp work beads they're a really deep purple color and i think i will either make that into a bracelet for my daughter for christmas or i might make it into a necklace it's just on a piece of leather thong to be tied onto a bracelet that was one pound fifty and at the same time i picked up this interesting bracelet these look like stone but I actually think that they're glass. They're really interesting. This one in the middle has got a beautiful turquoise. So I think I'm probably going to cut this and make that into a pair of earrings and that one into a pendant. I just thought they'd be fun to work with. And that was also £1.50. Then I had this beautiful malachite ring on brass. I haven't cleaned it yet because I wanted to show you that as part of the cleaning process. I am going to film a cleaning brass video. I just I've been so lucky and been sent so many things in to show. And I also didn't want to miss out on the thrift hauls. So that will be coming at some point. But this is going to come up lovely. And that was two pounds. So that's my charity purchases from the last couple of weeks. Not very much there, but I actually have been trying to pick up less because I've got so much to process. But the boot sale the week before the one just gone was amazing. So it started strong. There was a table which basically was a pasting table that looked like one of my unboxings. It was just a great big tangle of jewellery. And I spied immediately this beautiful Michaela Frey enamel bangle. If you haven't seen my collection of these, do head on over to my shorts. I did four short videos showing my enamel bangle collection and a whole stack of these lovely Michaela Frey bangles from Austria. This one is signed. Some of the earlier ones weren't. They had a sticker and some of them have lost their sticker. But that's a beautiful signed one. It's not in the great condition, greatest condition. They never are when I find them, sadly, but for 50p that was well worth it. So I was pleased to add that one to my collection. They had some brooches as well. So I picked up this lovely Sea Gems one. I think it was a Sea Gems. Oh no, it's a fish and crown one for a pound. That was quite sweet. And this one my mum fancied. So that's going to go in with her Christmas presents. It's um, polymer clay, like Fimo. Oh, this one I thought was so cool. This is a key ring and it's a beautiful camera. I think it actually says Canon on it there. And I'm going to turn that into a necklace. So it was so cool. I like that one i think that was about a pound as well then from the same seller i picked up all of these rings for a pound each i went for 10 so i spent around 10 pounds um, i have a bead it ring which i bought for a friend of mine for christmas um, who collects troll beads and you can put them on there i know because i have one myself this lovely toledo damascene costume piece it's adjustable with a faux pearl in the middle 
This one I had high hopes for being tarnished silver. As I say, it was very dark in there. Um, I thought it might be tarnished silver and amethyst, but it's not. It's glass and something plated. So that was a waste of money, sadly. This one I also took a punt on because I did buy a diamond bracelet, a diamond ring once that was unmarked, had no markings at all on the band and turned out to be gold and diamond at a car boot sale. So I took a chance on it, but sadly it's plated. And actually when I got them home and looked in the light, I could see that each of them has been scratched for acid testing on the band. So I'll know now when I see this seller again that they do know their stuff and they know that what they have isn't the real deal but it's very pretty somebody will like that check out this one this has tiny little peridot chips stuck together on here and also in its prongs it kind of looks like some of them are missing but it's just where or are they missing hold on no they're not missing they're just set in the setting glue that's changed the colour slightly and then some faux pearls and it's adjustable look at the detail on the band there I thought that was really unusual and probably got quite a good age to it maybe 60s what do you think let me know in the comments I thought that was just really cool definitely well worth a pound I don't know if you saw it in my shorts that I recently bought a Mexican silver ring with turquoise inlaid stones and it's missing three stones. I bought this just on the off chance there was any way that I could remove these to replace them on the other ring, but I don't think there is. This looks like a low grade silver, maybe 70s. Quite cool anyway, these are all sort of curios. This modernist ring, that's a mid-century one with a piece of dyed shell. I've had these in before. I recently sold a lovely abalone one in my Etsy shop, which was very similar to this that, that was round, and that's adjustable as well. That was a nice one. This one just thought had a really lovely design. It is costume. That's nothing in the middle there. But really cool. It's sort of Egyptian looking. That will probably go onto eBay. This one I bought for myself. Again, it's not the real deal, but it really has the look, this one, and it fits my ring finger perfectly. So I'll wear that one for a little bit of bling. And this one, which is just a paste stones on a gold tone band. It has some markings there but I can't see what they are and it's definitely plated. You can see the plating coming off. I picked up this beautiful sterling silver tree pendant on a chain for five pounds, which I just thought was a, a bargain. It's got 95 on the back there and it was something that my mum fancied for her birthday, which is tomorrow. So close your eyes, mum, you'll be getting that tomorrow. I also picked up this really lovely sterling silver sloth necklace. It's brand new, so I have left it nicely wrapped up after I photographed it for eBay in its packet. It's lovely, it's 3D and it's really it's got a really lovely weight to it. So I thought he was lovely. Okay, are you ready now for my two favourite finds? So we'll start with this one. This is a gorgeous Labradorite gemstone and sterling silver bracelet. It's really wide and I just fell in love with it. It does, however, have a problem. Look, we're missing a Labradorite stone there, but I have these ridiculously tiny wrists and I have tools. So my mum has very kindly bought this for me for Christmas on the proviso that I'm going to remove two of the links from here, one to make it fit and two to hide the damage. Isn't it gorgeous? Because it was damaged, he gave it to me at scrap value, which was £20. So I'm so thrilled with that. And I can't wait to make it beautiful and shiny and fitting and have it for Christmas. OK, this is, I think, my best find of the year. One of my best thrifted finds ever, probably. And it is this stunning Native American silver cuff bangle. Look how chunky this is. It is a real chunk. It weighs, I think, about 42 grams. 
and again for some strange reason he sold it to me at scrap value which he believed was 20 pounds it has tiger's eye and i think these are jasper they may even be picture jasper gemstone um, experts please do drop me a note in the comments and let me know what you think it's got this beautiful detail around the sides and it's signed here jackson now i looked up this mark and within about two minutes of being home identified that it's by navajo artist tommy jackson and he makes stunning cuffs like this. They start from about $1,000 and go up to about $1,500. So this was the find of the year for sure. I absolutely love it. My mum fell in love with it and she's having it for Christmas. So I'm really thrilled that I don't have to sell it because it would have been a real wrench to sell this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. What do you think? Let's try it on again. So that is my haul from the car boots and the charity shops from the last couple of weeks. It's not a big one, but it did have some goodies in it. Let me know what you think. What was your favourite piece in the comments? Please, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my videos on the screen and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.